A drive on this restricted road running along the Israel-Syria border will bring you to a mysterious closed-off enclave. This facility will be opened in a few weeks' time. It's a new medical day center that will provide basic treatment to Syrians living across the border. They will be able to access the facility, located right on the border, by foot, and enter after undergoing a security check. It will only be open during the day, with patients returning to Syria in the evening. More serious cases will be transferred to hospitals deeper inside Israel, as has been the case for several years now. The center will be staffed by NGO representatives. Security will be provided by the Israeli army. This project is part of an IDF operation, codenamed Good Neighbor, that has been underway for a year. While Israel has been treating wounded Syrians since 2013, the current operation goes much further than that. We uh, started bringing in sick uh, Syrians. Most of them are sick children with neglected medical diseases. We've taken them in to our hospitals, to our clinics. We've given them uh, modern medicine, modern treatment. The IDF has also helped to build two additional facilities inside Syria itself, a women's health center, as well as a general medical clinic, both in the Kunetra province near the border. The IDF provided building materials and medical equipment, with local Syrians doing the construction. Special emphasis has been put on medical care for children, with over 600 treated. More than 4,000 Syrians have received medical care so far. We facilitate the intake of patients for doctor visits, in which we bring women and children into Israel, where they receive medical treatment, then get a few gifts. We let them experience a place that is a little more welcoming. In the years since we've been active, we have provided over 90 shipments of medicine, advanced medical equipment such as respirators and anesthesia machines, ultrasound devices and so on. Over 320 tons of various food like sugar, salt, oil, and so forth. We've provided about half a million liters of diesel fuel. IDF officers stress that the Syrian patients are not subjected to interrogation or intelligence collection, with the realization that this could endanger the entire enterprise. That being said, the moral element is not the only interest at play here. With this aid, we are winning over the hearts and minds of people on the other side. The same people that hated us understand that we now stand by their side. We see this as a moral obligation. And in addition, there is a significant operational effect. These people who understand we are helping them will ensure that terrorists do not operate from their villages against the source of their aid, the state of Israel. Israel is concerned Iran and its proxies will eventually aim to gain a foothold in the border region. Operation Good Neighbor is meant to encourage the local Syrians to resist that possibility if it comes. Shai ben Ari, I-24 News, the Israel-Syria border. Dr. Fadi Ismail is a research fellow at the International Institute for Counter-Terror. He's also a physician who spent months in one of those hospitals in Israel's north that receives the Syrian wounded. Fadi, great to have you. Thank you for having me. Take us a little further into what it takes to bring a wounded Syrian civilian from the other side of the border into supposed enemy territory into Israel for treatment. Okay, I can speak to the, to the military and security aspect of it. Um, this, is, this would be very um, elaborate operations. Uh, obviously, you have someone on the other side who talks to you. There are, there are liaison uh, entities in the middle. Um, uh, so it is primarily, it's very similar to special operations, very similar to special forces operations. And we've just seen in the report that the commander of the Golani Recon of, uh, unit um, with which I worked in the past, I'm uh, proud to say, um, is part is basically the gives the the umbrella, the security umbrella to the whole thing. So it would be very a very elaborate operation uh, to bring them into Israel. Now, once they are acro across the border, you know, just a question of putting them in an ambulance and sending them to the hospital, whether it's Tzfat or Nahariya or anywhere place like this. For them, a Syrian civilian who would like to get across the border. How long, how drawn out of a process, and how dangerous of a process is that to make? Well, since there is not a real government in southern Syria in that area, right. whether it's Khnetri or, or Dira or those areas, or Sweda, for that matter, uh, all these different uh, provinces there. So I would assume that there are some local warlords uh, that serve as a point of contact 
for Israeli intelligence and for the IDF in general. And there's probably some, they probably know that because, uh, uh, you know, there are the small villages, most of them, uh, and um, they know everybody. So they know who is the guy to go to if you want to get things done.